I guess I can't let things go either. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Repeat's an honorary member of Brave Vesperia too, isn't he? Of course he is. But everyone who joins the guild has to swear to uphold its laws, don't they? Well, in his case... <laughs> what are you all worried about? Repeat knows the laws. <laughs> there have been lots of times when I just know Repeat understands what we're saying. I know how you feel. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how about it, Repeat? He just went to Marcus territory. It seems like the area has returned to normal. 
Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Mrs. Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Q. Moore gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Q. Moore? From the Imperial Knights? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is Father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. Then if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The Knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The Knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off-limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful!
I'd like to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it. All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then... Estelle, you up for it? Huh? Me? Not a chance. Not a chance, huh? Yeah, I guess you're not too sexy anyway. I'm sexy enough, thank you very much. Want me to prove it? Sure. Now, let's go look for something to get that guard drooling. Thanks. You're certainly persuasive. Nah, she's just easily persuaded. That's for sure. Hey, wouldn't Judith be the best person to seduce the guard? You too, Carol? Huh, I can seduce people just fine. <laughs> you're cute when you're frustrated. I get the feeling even her personality's changing. <laughs> you travel this big old world long enough, and anybody change. Don't blow it out of proportion. It's just seduction. Maybe to you, Judith. But to our dear princess, it's one of the toughest things she's ever done. I will seduce that guard. Just you wait. Do you have an outfit that can attract any kind of male? Attract any? Uh, are you going to wear it? How about this? Ooh, it's lovely. That's nope, no good. no good. No good? Why? It's so cute. If cute was what we were going for, you could have just stuck with what you have on. Right. In other words, it's not sexy enough. Uh, again with the sexiness. Oh, then how about... Hmm, let's see. If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. I guess we have no choice. Let's go. Uh, looks like this is going to be more trouble than we thought. Come on, hurry up. Stubborn, isn't she? You can say that again. Oh, you've brought the items. Wait here while I make you something nice. What do you say? Does it look okay on me? Yeah, it actually does. And why has Judith changed into that outfit? Well, I had mine made too while waiting. I think your dress is kind of too unique. Really? I think it is very lovely. Anyway, let's have Estelle distract the guard as planned. Okay. Judy, can you do something about that outfit first? Mr. Knight? Huh? What? Uh, you're wearing such a... you, uh... Hmm? Hey, you, uh... No, it can't be. 
Not that kind of... Uh... Hmm? Do, do you know me? It's just that you look uh, a little like the princess. Oh, yes. I get that a lot. <laughs> Did you hear that? Shh, pipe down. Uh, come a little closer, could you? No, I'd like you to come to me. Why would you run away like that? Uh, um, I'm just a little bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> and as I predicted, it came to blows in the end anyway. If we hadn't done that, Estelle would have been in a tight spot, don't you think? Yes. He might have gotten mad if he'd found out I was lying about my identity. That's not quite what I meant. All right, on to the next step. Huh? What? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who? Me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to do it. But really, a knight of all things? Oh well, if this helps us fool them, all the better. Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild! Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. Huh? Yuri? a lot of nerve locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now! Rita, what is she doing here? Calm down already! I'll, I'll go call him right now! Shut up! Well, she hasn't changed much. Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hopelone Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't! You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Q Moore. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once. 
at Karabakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that 